Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to round 16 of the fourth season of the NASCAR X2 series. This is the NASCAR series on the PlayStation 3 console on NASCAR 15 with no custom setups. We're here at Talladega where Punisher Drummer has won the pole for the third time in his X2 series career. Your Dunson, Tyler Scott, Jay Taylor, Trouble for You, Humpy, Man Anger, THR Hard Pickle, your top eight. Remember guys, cautions are normally off in the two NASCAR series on the PlayStation 3 console, the B Division NASCAR series. However, at Talladega and Daytona, the cautions are on in order to provide a pack of cars, the drafting experience we call it, for the fans at home and for the drivers behind the wheel. The green flag will be coming out shortly. The two veterans, Bondalosaurus and Timac 11, are going to start at the back. The outside line gets going rather well. Bondasaurus hangs back. And now Punisher Drummer jumps out to an early advantage on the bottom lane up there towards the front. Robbing Bane and Piper J take the bottom here while Twitch Whiskers is on the top side. That's good. Stay right there for more speed. You're doing it right there, man. Nice and smooth. And it's hard to tell where Twitch Whiskers is. Time act looked like he was gonna go with her. Twitch Whiskers is having connection problems here. All right. The leader is four seconds in front. At your door, on top. He's coming on the outside. Clear on the outside. Robbing Bane has jumped into the top 10. Larson Rocks is going to draft with Timac 11. It's only a 37 lap race here at the famous Talladega. There's a five second gap between you and the leader. Got one behind you. It's freaky fast here. Car two back. It's been a very clean first two and a half laps. A lot of these drivers are quite spread out. All clear. There were two qualification races before this feature race here that, he, that you're watching now. The top eight finishers from those two features advanced to tonight's event. There were 11 drivers in both qualification races, so six drivers in total were technically sent home. However, everybody does receive points and there are many more races to go. Oh, and we've got ourselves a caution, and apparently they may or may not have blown their motor in the process. But we are under our first caution here at Talladega Speedway, and we're going to take a look at the replay and see what happened. And, and Jay Taylor and Wood Dog make contact. And Jay Taylor is... The points leader is going to take a hit here. Wood Dog immediately saying, My bad, JT. Wood Dog, one of the cleanest drivers in NASCAR. Certainly didn't mean to get into the points leader there. That was quite insane. And now a lot of these drivers are coming down pit road. Looks like they're going to do four tires, most of them. We're working 
caution number one here at Talladega Speedway. Huge breaking development here for NASCAR. Jay Taylor, your points leader. He is at 128 points right now in the standings, and the maximum amount of points that he can reach is 130 with, with the unique points format that we have in the X2 series. Therefore, it's crucial for him to get one more good top five, top three finish, or perhaps the victory to extend those points. And now we're only showing 13 drivers left on the racetrack. Here on lap six. So a massive wreck has taken out a sizable chunk of the field. Three drivers out of the race already here at Talladega Speedway. And now the, the bottom lane working real, real well. Larson Rocks goes all the way to the race lead. Piper Jade, Punisher Drummer, you're done, son. Ty Mac, they're all going with him. ATM Racing lost a few spots there, but he tucked in in line there. And now they're side by side on the front straightaway for sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth positions. It's getting dicey at Talladega. Still early though, 31 laps to go. They are on lap 7 of 37. And it looked like Piper Jade or Punisher Drummer, one or the other, made a slight bit of contact with the outside wall. And now Larson Rocks and your Dunn Son working good together, but we are under caution now for the second time at Talladega Speedway. And we're going to see what happened here. It looks like Wood Dog. Oh, and Wood Dog got turned by the 78 of Tyler Scott. Kind of looked like Wood Dog was coming up the track and just didn't know Tyler Scott was there. And uh, certainly spun Wood Dog. You, you heard Wood Dog there say he came up and that that was his fault. He's a very smart, very talented race car driver. He used to drive with Josh Wise back in the early 90s. I believe it was in late models or modifieds. Of course, Josh Wise going on to be a Cup Series driver. And now pit stops are underway. Four tires, four tank, the full tank of gas, rather. When they restart, it's going to be 29 laps to go. Okay, guys, get ready. 24 car pulls into his pit stall. You can hear the drivers on the radio discussing the incident. We're working caution number two here at Talladega Speedway. 13 drivers on the racetrack. 16 drivers started the event. Great stuff, guys. In and out. It's all up to you now, buddy. Okay, go get him, man. We're still one We're working lap nine now. They're, They're going gonna to get the green flag this time. Just keep a good pace. You're doing good. Watch your outside. We'll get in next time, buddy. Okay, let's go. And a bit of connection problems there with Twitch. Kind of forced Tymac out of the line, and now Bondosaurus is going to give him a push going into turn one. But it's Larson Rocks out front for the time being. And Tymac elected to ghost there as he was getting uh, he was getting sandwiched per se. It was hard to figure out where Twitch's car really was. And that's what was really throwing throwing Timac off there. 
That time Mac has to go to the back into 13th place. Larson rocks out front, getting a nice push from Piper Jade. Punisher drummer, your pole sitter is running in third. Flat tire, flat tire. And now ATM Racing with a huge run of momentum takes the lead on the outside. And there's a car on pit road. Keep rolling. And it appears it's Larson Rocks. Larson Rocks 321, who was the race leader a moment ago. And you gotta wonder if he was forced down there or or if he got loose and went down the road, or, or what happened there. Because he didn't stop. And now the caution is out. Caution is out for the third time here at Talladega. Not quite sure what happened there to Larson Rocks, but... Here's the reason for the caution. It looks like the 78 came up the track, had no idea that your done son was there, and hard contact with the with the inside wall, with the right rear side of the race car. Race track's clear. The road will be open this time. Pit road open this time. The question is who comes down pit road? It looks like all these guys are going to come in. I believe there was only okay, one car who elected to stay out. Really hard to figure out who's going to have the winning strategy at this point, especially when you have cautions on. Very easy to predict the strategy and the outcome when you have zero cautions and, and, and everything is on the line. We're going to line them up here again. Awesome work, guys. Awesome work. Like I said, we got a real good car here. Just take care of it. Looks like the outside line got going quite a bit better than it has all race long, but towards the front the outside line did not prevail. Larson Rocks is going to take off with the race lead here. Oh, and we've got a big pile up on the, on the back straightaway. Fourth caution. Fourth caution of the race, and it looks like uh, Punisher Drummer got hooked from behind. He got bumped, and when he got tagged, he spun to the right and collected a few cars. Trouble for you in the number 10 car is, is, is one of them. And now we've got ourselves a, another yellow. The question is, who pits and who doesn't? Looks like Timac's gonna stay out, but it looks like Twitch Whiskers, Tyler Scott, Man Anger, Trouble for You, and a few others are all coming down pit road. Your Dunn Son, Bondosaurus, Punisher Drummer, they are all on pit road, guys. Working caution number four here at Talladega Speedway. Larson Rocks is your race leader. Going to take a short break from commentary. You're watching NASCAR X2 Series Racing on YouTube.
hosted on NASCAR 15 on the PlayStation 3 console. Restart so the drivers slow down and wait for each other to get in line and what they do is they go around the track at a at a slow speed and then when they get back to the start finish line that is when they resume racing. And when we say glitch restart, what we mean is half the pack of cars will be up and ready to go on their way towards the start finish line to get the green flag and then the other half will be at the back and, and, and simply not moving whatsoever until the front pack gets close enough to the line, takes the green flag. And then by the time that happens, of course, that, back, that, that pack of cars way back there is way behind the race leader. Therefore, what we do is we go around slow once, wait up for them, and resume fair. When we restart, it's going to be Larson Rocks, ATM Racing, Throbbing Bane, Piper Jade, Timac 11, Wood Dog, Tyler Scott, and Twitch Whiskers, the, the front four rows, and here we go. Wood Dog got a great jump. He's going to make it three wide and try to go through the middle for the race lead. Wood Dog takes the lead, but there was a wall glitch incident of sorts. It looked like looked like Piper Jade and perhaps your Dunn son were involved in this one. Caution number five, a Talladega Speedway. You gotta dodge the wrecks in order to have have enough car left at the end. And yeah, it looks like Tyler Scott in the 78 car, Piper Jade in the 41 car made some contact there. And around went Piper Jade, making minor contact with the uh, with the inside wall. Caution number five at Talladega Speedway. The drivers are awaiting the uh, the game to finish loading, and there we are. Throbbing Bane, ATM Racing, Timac, Twitch Whiskers, your done son, Tyler Scott, among others, all making pit stops. Really good, buddy. We're ready when you are, pal. And I believe we're getting a report that Tyler Scott may have lagged out of today's race. He's going to okay, finish in the 13th position. position. Certainly not where he wanted to finish. Oh, 
12 drivers left in the race. Way to go, boys. Nice bit. Okay, it's time to push that pace now, buddy. Stay focused. We can do this. Larson Rocks is going to restart with the race lead. Green flag is out. Hard inside you. The tire's blowing. You wore it out. Wood Dog gets a good restart. He's got Throbbing Bean in the five car right behind him. Oh, and, oh, and Throbbing Bean has spun everybody. I'm <laughs> not sure quite what happened there. Number five car lost control and. Yeah, Robin Bain made contact with Larson Rocks and then afterwards came back down the track and made heavy contact with Timac 11. Looked very intentional, the, uh, the, the second half of that wreck. Thankfully, uh, um, thankfully for Timac at least, there is no yellow motor. Let's do a splash of you. We need to get those war tires off. Okay, buddy, we're standing by. And Punisher Drummer and Timac have chose to chosen to come down pit road, make some repairs, and take on some tires and some gas. When we restart, we're going to have 18 laps to go. It's already not a very long race, but when we get her going again, we're going to have 18 to go, which is just hardly anything here at Talladega. We got ourselves a shootout once we get that going green. There we go, and here is the restart running order. We're down to 12 cars. Tyler Scott will finish 13th. Humpy 1799 is going to finish in 14th. THR Hard Pickle is going to finish in 15th. And the points leader, Jay Taylor, is going to finish in 16th. Tough break for the 88 bunch. When we get back going green, we're going to have Wood Dog as the race leader. Your Dunn son is going to be in second, Piper J third, and I believe it was Punisher. I believe it was Punisher Drummer that's going to be lining up in fourth. That's a full second you made up on the driver in front. Way to go, buddy. Time Act 11 will be lining up in fifth. Now we got some of these guys close to each other. The drivers have doubled up. Remember, you're done Sun 50 in that number 6 car. He's restarting in second. He's got himself up towards the top of the standings. If he can get himself a win here at Talladega, that'll certainly bump him closer to where Jay Taylor is sitting in the standings. Car outside. Trying to get to your corner. Uh, ATM gives Timac a bit of a shot before they're going green here. Uh, 
And now there they go. Wood Dog gets a great jump on the bottom. At your door, up top. Piper Jade goes with him. Door up top. Right side's clear. Door up top, just looking. Door at your door. Up top, at your door. Timac Levin had a great restart, but he couldn't quite slide in behind your Dunson. Punisher right, Drummer was able now. to stay close enough to him to stop him from being able to do so. The leader's a second ahead. You are approaching high. They're on the outside. <coughs> They're left side. Nice move by Throbbing Bane to take over fifth from his teammate Timac 11. Kind of looks like Timac yeah, is, is going to follow in behind, or fall in behind him rather, and Take the five car on himself, possibly up towards the lead, which is where Wood Dog and your Dunn son are. Wood Dog in the number three car, looking for his first career NASCAR X2 Series win. Good traffic by right there, nice and smooth. Rookie three looks strong tonight. I told you those tires wouldn't last. The driver in first is two seconds ahead. Now you can hear the drivers discussing where they want to run and where they want to draft. They're trying to figure out the best way to to get speed and maybe catch the front runners. Man, you're making it look easy from up here. Flat tire, flat tire. I told you. Getting a report, someone's on pit road. Couldn't quite see who it was. You got the Hendrick teammates working together, the 5 and the 24, running 5th and 6th, trying to catch up to Wood Dog and your Dunn son. And you got a second pair here running in 3rd and 4th, but they actually just got split up. No, it's actually, it, it's your Dunn son. Your Dunn son suddenly has fallen to the 4th spot and into the clutches of the two Hendrick Chevys. Looks like you've worn the right tire down. Punisher Drummer runs in the third spot in front of these guys. Are we going to see a four-car pack try to chase down the front two? Because the front two have now separated guys. Piper Jade in the number 41 car has taken the race lead from Wood Dog. So this gives these four drivers from third to sixth a, a big chance to possibly get up there and take the lead since they're not getting away anymore. It's a six-car battle for the lead at Talladega Speedway, guys. Mananger runs in seventh. Oh, we got a huge wreck in turn one. You're done, son, and a few others made heady contact. Timac 11 and Wood Dog made contact afterwards. Wood Dog got on the brakes very heavy, a little too heavy. And... Oh my goodness. It looks like Punisher Drummer is done for the day. It looks like your Dunn's son is done for the day. It might even be Piper Jade done for the day as well, guys. That might have been a three-car terminal wreck here at Talladega. 
Wow, we just went from 12 cars down to 9 cars. Let's switch out the tires, fuel up, and let's add some tape to the grill. You're running pretty cool. Crew's on the wall and ready. And there's a lot of angry drivers, folks. Lots of angry drivers. Make it count, boys. Be ready. Be ready. Punisher Drummer. Piper Jade. You're done, son. All out of today's race at Talladega Speedway. Three contenders for sure to win. You're done, son, led a lap in today's race. Punisher Drummer won the pole and led some laps. Piper Jade led some laps. And there's a lot of fingers being pointed towards that number five car. Throbbing Bane 31 trying desperately to get his first career NASCAR X2 Series win. We're going to restart with 11 laps to go. Wood Dog, Throbbing Bane, Timac, Man Anger, Twitch Whiskers, and Bondasaurus, your top six. Nine cars left. 22 drivers tried to qualify for the feature race. 16 made it. And we're only we're down to nine. Only nine cars left on the race surface. Wood Dog has the lead. Timac 11 got a great run there. He's gonna give a push to Wood Dog. Bondosaurus in the 14 is gonna come up and give them both a shot. Going into turn three. Still on you. Still behind you. The three car, the 24 car, the 14 car, the three Chevys are up in the top three and doing a great job at staying there. Time to go. The tire is blown, you wore it out. Okay, behind you. No, right behind you. You're clear. And now they're going down the back straightaway, and you can hear the drivers discussing their strategy and how they're going to go about this. They want to draft and work together to catch these front three, but it's very difficult to catch them when they're working together also. Throbbing Bane is in fourth place in the number five car, but he has lost the draft with these front three competitors. And it's Wood Dog, Timac, and Bondasaurus, your top three. Timac 11 just posted the fastest lap of the race, and that's because he is working real good here with the number three car. Wood Dog looking for his first career X2 Series win. Bondasaurus in the 14 car, looking for his 8th career win. He has the 3rd most wins in series history. Kymak 11 looking for his 17th career X2 series win. Leads the series for most wins all time. They're coming around to 8 laps to go guys. Just 8 laps to go at Talladega. Wood Dog is your race leader. Okay, behind you. Number three car looking real strong. Throbbing Bane has fallen back into the clutches of some of the other competitors in a battle for fourth and fifth. You're all clear. Can Throbbing Bane get together with one of those drivers and make a late race charge? He's got a four second gap to close if he's going to do it. Seven laps remaining, it's getting real exciting, especially up towards the front. Big battle for the race lead. Bondosaurus in the 14, given great drafting help with Timac 
getting very, very close, but not, but not bumping them out of the way and making contact. Very smart drafting from the 14. Getting a report that Timac 11 is overheating. Had to drop out of the pack. Timac now back to third. Wood Dog and Bondosaurus are battling for the top spot. Car on pit road. Can't quite tell who it is down there. Man Anger just took fourth from Throbbing Bane. Looks like Throbbing Bane is going to be the one to draft with, with Man Anger here. And it was Larson Rocks who came down pit road in the 31 machine. He's now back out on the racetrack. One lap down in ninth place. Oh, and we're getting a report that there was contact. ATM got in the back of Trouble For You. 34 got into the number 10 car. And we're getting a report that Trouble For You is now out of today's race at Talladega Speedway. Yeah, I, I am getting a confirmation. Trouble for you is out of the race. He is going to finish in ninth place in that number ten, or yes, that number ten car. And by the looks of things, it's going to come down to Wood Dog and Bondosaurus. They are the ones up front drafting with each other. Can the 14 make a move on the three car? And can, and when does he do it? If you're the 14, if, if you're him, when do you make your move? Do you wait until the last lap? Do you wait until the last corner so that way Wood Dog has no time to tuck in behind you and answer you? Or do you try to take it right away and hold him off? It all comes down to decision making, it comes down to timing, and it comes down to having a fast race car. And both of those drivers up there have all of those things going for them. Wood Dog and Bondosaurus both played the race here tonight very safe to avoid the uh, avoid most of the uh, the big incidents, the big wrecks. Their cars are their cars are mostly unscathed compared to the competition. Two laps remaining. Does the three car get his first win or does the 14 make a move on him? It's the veteran versus the rookie. The veteran being the 14 car driven by Bondosaurus. The rookie being the three car driven by Wood Dog. Wood Dog used to race with Josh Wise back in the early 90s. And we've got a green white checkered, guys. It's not going to matter. Oh my goodness. And it was the five car a throbbing vein and very, very intentional looking wreck. And that is going to be reviewed. That is for sure. Yeah, 
it's certainly going to be reviewed here. Where the truck? Are you clear? The road is open. What do you want to do? And who's going to come down pit road? Looks like all of the drivers, except for Larson Rocks and except for Twitch Whiskers. Twitch Whiskers is going to stay out. Can she get her first okay, win? Let's make this work. We're going to restart with eight drivers left in the race. Oh, and I, I, my mistake, I could have swore that Twitch Whiskers came down pit road. It appears that she, or it appears that she did come down pit road. I thought she stayed on the racetrack. Bondosaurus in the 14. Timac 11 in the 24. Mananger 35. Twitch Whiskers 98. Green, white, checkered at Talladega Speedway. This is race number 16 of the fourth season of the NASCAR X2 series, which is the No Setups series. Timac 11 gets down in behind Bondosaurus. Okay, behind you. Follow your ear. He's right on you. He's got one working the top. Come on, man. Hold it right there if you want to drive. Lights all clear, bud. Car two back. Got one behind you. We're coming around to the white flag. It looks like Timac is just going to push Bondosaurus for now. The inside line was working great. Now here comes Wood Dog on the inside. Timac 11 with a huge move underneath Bondosaurus. It's three wide for the race lead. Who had it? Who had the race lead? There's another caution. There is a green light checkered number two. And the five car turned the 31. And we're getting a confirmation that there will be disciplinary action handed out to the number five car of Throbbing Bane. He will finish this race in eighth place. No matter where he finishes on the track. The very first suspension handed out by NASCAR competition, number five car of Throbbing Bane is suspended for the two upcoming races at Sonoma and Martinsville. NASCAR X2 series. And now we have seven cars technically restarting. Wood Dog, Timac, Bondosaurus, Mananger, Twitch Whiskers, ATM Racing, and Larson Rocks remain in contention for the win here today. Can Wood Dog get his very first win? We're doing it today. Low side. Flat tire, flat tire. I told you. Stay up top. And Man Anger gives Timac a great push going into turn one. Bondosaurus thought about making it three wide. He came up the track. Oh. Out. 
and there was definitely contact between the 24 and the 14 and I can honestly say that that was an accident as soon as it happened I I, I cringed here in my seat my car wiggled and as a result, Bonasaurus in the number 14 car makes contact with the wall. And certainly tempers are flaring. <laughs> And now we're going to go back racing. 14's mad at the 24. I guess with good reason. Timex certainly didn't mean to do it. And as soon as it happened, I came to a to a halt because I just figured, I don't know, I wasn't supposed to be <laughs> how it went, that's for sure. Eight cars are going to restart. Remember, guys, this is the final green-white checker. There will not be a caution if there is a spinner. So this is it. It is do or die. Wood Dog and Man Anger on the front row. Twitch Whiskers, Time Act on the second row. And the front four break away a little bit. It looks like Wood Dog and Twitch Whiskers are going to take the bottom. And now Man Anger is going to give her a push. Twitch Whiskers stays on the bottom and she gets the draft with Wood Dog. Can Twitch Whiskers get her first win? Oh, and there's a connection problem. Twitch suddenly goes all over the place and bounces off the wall. I don't believe that that's what she's doing on her screen. It's very, very difficult to tell where Twitch Whiskers is running. And Ty looked like he was going to try to tuck in behind Twitch, but he couldn't quite figure out where she was running, and now she's she's in third place. But it's coming down to Wood Dog and Man Anger. They are the front two. They are looking for the win here at Talladega. Man Anger looking for his first win, as well as Wood Dog. In fact, the top three looking for their very first win. Man Anger looks high. You can see him over there on the top of your screen, top left. The blue car is right behind the yellow car. Final straightaway. Remember, at Talladega, the start finish line is further down the front straightaway. He's making a move on the outside. Checkers, Couldn't quite make it happen. Wood Dog in the number three car gets his very first win here in the NASCAR X2 series. Man Anger is going to finish in second place in that number 35 car. Twitch Whiskers gets her career best finish in third. Timac finishes in fourth. Larson in fifth. ATM in sixth. Throbbing Vane in seventh. And Bondasaurus 14 rounding out the top eight. Oh yes, but remember, Throbbing Vane will be receiving a two-race suspension and will finish in eighth in tonight's event. What a race, guys. Congratulations to Wood Dog. He led 24 of the 37 laps en route to his very first NASCAR X2 Series victory. You can tell a lot of these drivers are hungry for their very first win.
the top three finishers were looking for their first career victory tonight, as were ATM Racing, as was Throbbing Vein. Very good run for these drivers. This was round 16, guys, of the NASCAR X2 Series, the fourth season. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, visit NOSCAR.com, N-O-S-S-CAR.com, for more information on how to become a fan or a driver in the NASCAR series. We'll see you again real soon. Thank you very much for watching.